So earlier this year in July, Peterson started making 300 Winchester Magnum brass, which is really awesome because I hear a lot of great things about Peterson brass. We've tried some of their brass in 6.5 Creedmoor and it did a good job. And just, you know, by all accounts, it's good quality brass. And when I was getting into 300 Winchester Magnum, that's what most people complained about was that a lot of the brass on the market just wasn't very good. Lapua announced that they are going to be making 300 Winchester Magnum brass, I think early next year. So between Peterson and Lapua, the quality of the brass that's available for 300 Winchester Magnum has got a serious upgrade this year. And the subject of today's video is this stuff in particular. You'll notice that the head stamp says 300 Winchester Magnum long. So Peterson offers, I guess, standard Sammy spec brass and then also this long brass. I decided to go with the long. And by long, they don't mean the total overall length of the case. They mean the base to the shoulder, the measurement we take with our, with our head space comparator. And this new piece of Peterson long measures 2.276. The next piece is exactly the same, 2.276. Now, I don't have any of the standard Peterson brass to measure, but here is some, here's some brand new Hornady brass, and it measures 2.265. So this is 11,000 shorter. Here is a brand new piece of Jag brass, and it measures 2.260, 15,000 thousandth shorter than the Peterson long brass. Now I've got two different 300 Winchester Magnum rifles. These labeled uh, yeah, with a C on them. This is from my Thompson Center Compass. This is a fired piece of brass and it is 2.277. So this is only one thousandth longer than the brand new Peterson long brass. Here is my a piece from my Savage. So the Savage 110 measures 2.278 for a fired piece. So that's only two thousandths. So this brand new Peterson long brass is the perfect size for both of my rifles. It's just like I took fired brass and bumped them one or two thousandths. So I have a feeling this brass is going to last a long time because, you know, if we take the, the worst example that we've got, which is our Jag brass, and, and this is no knock on Jag, this is no knock on Hornady. You know, if you buy the standard Peterson brass, it's going to be short as well. That's the spec for the 300 Win Mag cartridge that causes this crap, right? Because our 300 Win Mag head space is off the belt and that bunch of excess space between the shoulder of the brass and the shoulder of your chamber it's just the way it's supposed to be, pretty dumb. But so, so this piece of Jag brass, the first time I fire it in my Savage, this shoulder is gonna move 18 thousandths. And that brass doesn't come from here, it comes from right down here, right? This is where your cases stretch, and that's where we eventually get our case head separations when cases fail, right? So Peterson Long with one or two thousandths of excess versus something like this Jag or the standard Peterson stuff with 18 thousandths. I decided to go with the Long. It seems like a no brainer, and it seems like a genius move on their part. Really glad they are offering up this option. I, I, I looked on their website, it doesn't look like they're offering this for seven millimeter mag yet. I don't shoot seven millimeter mag, so I don't know if it has the same problem with excess space with Sammy Spec brass or whatever, but yeah, as of right now, the option is only for, for 300 Win Mag. So that's about it, folks. Just wanted to just wanted to show you this stuff. I'm about to load it up for the first time and I expect it to be really good stuff. And it better be really good stuff because it's extremely expensive. 50 pieces of, of the long brass, right now on graphs, it's $66.99. So $1.34 a piece. If you go with the regular stuff, right now it's $61.99 for 50. So they're charging us an extra five bucks for the long version. So hopefully we get enough extra case life to justify that extra five bucks. And if you've never ordered Peterson brass, it does come in a nifty little ammo box. Just your standard plastic stuff with the folded plastic hinge. Nothing special, but at the very least, it's a nice way to ship it. And the stuff I ordered arrived in good shape. So I bought two boxes, I've got a hundred pieces. This is what we're gonna be using in my 300 Win Mag videos here for a little while. And I thought I'd spread the word in case you guys haven't heard about this stuff. All right, see you guys next time.